I have to imagine that as the calendar turned to 2019, I wasn't the only one sitting there looking ahead to WrestleMania 35 and going, ooh, ooh. Not a lot of really compelling matchups to look forward to and just an overall lack of real obvious star power. Can we at least agree on that? I would certainly hope so. So for me, and I'm sure for many of you, looking ahead to WrestleMania, there's a hope that this company was going to find a way to bring in some star power. And God knows, since this company doesn't make stars now, they have to kick the tires on star power of the days gone. And it is what it is. Spring V2 Batista. I don't know about you, but I know Batista wanted another run in WWE. I think that's pretty obvious. I think everybody understands that. I think that was very well known. Even Batista kind of made that known. That he had a kind of bad taste in his mouth from the way the last run ended. And a few years later, he wanted to have one last go of it before it was too late. And who could blame him? I most certainly couldn't. Because I know most certainly that I wanted Batista to have one more run with WWE. He's like what the WWE thinks John Cena is, but Batista's actually really good. Since his run back in 2014 really went sideways really quickly because of the petulantness of the fan base when it came to Daniel Bryan. A few years later, removed from that, some time and distance makes the heart grow fonder. It felt like, as he's pushing 50 this year, Grandpa Dave, it was a good time to bring him back into the fold. And I'm here for it. And I know, frankly, a lot of other fans are here for it. Because, again, we want somebody interesting. We want something interesting. And we need some damn star power for WrestleMania. So Monday night, we saw the return of the animal Batista. Nose ring and all, whatever the hell that was all about. It's Bootista. It's Bluetista. I don't give a crap. It's Dave Batista, and by God damn it, he's back in WWE. Yeah! It was a mark-out moment for me. It has raised my excitement level for WrestleMania just a little bit. And because of it being Batista and knowing how Batista can be, it most certainly has increased my interest level in the road to WrestleMania by a pretty large Margin. And of course, he's going to come back, and you're not just going to waste him on somebody small. You're going to put him with somebody that's a deal. A big deal. And it most certainly doesn't get much bigger in the WWE's eyes than Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Ugh. Praise him, damn it! Praise him now on everything that is the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Elmsley. If you didn't understand before, haven't understood after all these years of me talking about it, why the man is simply God on earth, you now have another reminder again. As so many of you look to the heavens above, foolishly placing your beliefs, your prayers, your hopes and desires, in the hands of somebody that you can't even confirm 100% exists or not, who often allows you to experience the bad that you do in your life, here is somebody right here, flesh and bone, we can see it, we can believe it, and by God, time after time, year after year, the man makes miracles happen. And let's talk about the miracle and the majesty of what happened on Monday night. The WWE, on a night where Roman Reigns is announcing that his leukemia is in remission once again, on a night where they had spent weeks building up to Ric Flair's 70th birthday bash, they decide to use this night, this moment in time, to bring back Batista, to attack Ric Flair, to ruin the birthday celebration, to build towards a match between Batista and Hunter at fucking WrestleMania. Praise God! Oh God! When you're looking for miracles, you're being presented one. 
When you're looking for signs of the divine, by God, you got one! Batista versus Triple H! Torn Peck versus Booby Cancer! This is gonna be phenomenal! The buildup of burials on the mic in the road to WrestleMania is gonna make me feel like that men can still do professional wrestling, damn it! And that we can occasionally have real stars be in WWE, damn it! This is going to be magnificent, and when they get to the grandest stage, when they get to WrestleMania, when they get to MetLife Stadium, and both of them are sucking wind, they're both lacking for oxygen, they're in a clear deprivation state, I'm going to think back on this buildup, on this road to WrestleMania, and I'm going to love every single minute of it. This company took Ric Flair's 70th birthday that they had built up weeks to, to use as the impetus to bring back Batista so that way they could make sure that Hunter once again got his featured marquee WrestleMania match. If you respect nothing else about his holiness, you must respect the level and depth that he is able to go to to be able to politic himself into a featured marquee WrestleMania match year in and year out. Batista versus Triple H, WrestleMania 35. Yet another one of God's glories for all of you to see. <laughs>